What's going on guys, Kevin here and today I got a review for you of the Phantom Skins cover for your Mac and your iPhone from Phantom Skins, kindly sent out for review, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Installation was fairly simple, you wipe your laptop down with alcohol, you make sure it's all clean. Don't wipe the screen down though because it'll corrode the screen. Then you place the sticker on top, you line it up, you want to make sure that you got it nice and good. And then once that's done, you're going to want to use a hairdryer to put down all the corners and get down any imperfections like bubbles. So depending on the product you ordered, you're going to get a very nice result. Right here is showing off the white carbon fiber which looks absolutely astounding. Now the full body coverage does not cover the whole body, it stops off at the ports as well as flipping over to the other side, it's going to stop off right before the super drive in the Kensington lock. And then around the corners, it's going to latch together kind of like a puzzle rather than stopping. Now the skin has very precise cutouts for everything. As you can see here, the Apple logo is illuminating its way through the cutout of the skin. And then on top of that, there is the power button on the keyboard area. It's completely cut out as well as the microphone where it's completely cut out. Now they also do leave the keyboard completely open so that you don't have any interferences when you type. And then on top of that, they offer a slip to go over the trackpad. And surprisingly, it works better than I'd expected. I'd been using it for a while. It took a little bit to get used to, but other than that, it's pretty good. So as far as iPod skins go, they usually just cover the back. It's covering the aluminum portion. It's very, very precisely cut out, even more so than what the Mac was. And it feels really nice. I've got the black carbon fiber here. And it almost replaces the need for a case unless you're one of the people who drop it a lot because it protects it from scratching. Now it comes in around $10 to $25, comes in different colors, comes in different te textures, comes in different form factors. But anyway, the Mac version of it comes in around $50 to $80 and comes in different colors and textures as well. Now, the question is, is it really worth it? Uh, I would say they're a little bit expensive, in fact, maybe even $10 to $20 expensive for what they are, especially for the iPod, because the iPod maybe costs, I'm guessing, around 5 or $6 to make, and then they're selling it for 30 So it seems a little bit like a ripoff to me once I saw the price, but nonetheless, it is a very nice product, very well built, very good job in making it. So I would say if you're in the market to get one and you really want one over a case, then I would say definitely go get it, especially for the Mac because I know Mac cases can be really bulky. And again, on the Mac, I noticed it gets kind of hot when you use it. So other than that, I would say go ahead and go get this if you really want it. But if you are trying to substitute this something for major protection, don't. But anyway, guys, that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to watch last week's video, you can go ahead and click the link on screen. And I'll see you guys in another video.